Hi, this is Carl, the Lazy Reseller, and today I just wanted to give a quick tip on how to clean Logitech or other objects that have uh, the sticky res residue on the back. So we'll get right to it. So in this video, I want to show you what I do with these Harmony remotes. Um, often when you get these Harmony remotes, Logitech Harmony remotes, you're going to find that uh, they get sticky at the back. And what this is, it's not gross things from people using them. What it is, is the plastic actually deteriorating over time. And uh, I, find, I have sold them like this before, but I prefer just to clean them up. Like if you see here, you can actually take the stuff off. And uh, what you're doing actually is taking a bit of the plastic off, but not too much. I think it's worth doing. Uh, I have used uh, acetone as shown in, in someone else's video for doing this stuff, but I found it left gray streaks. Uh, it might have been the remote I was using. It was in a Harmony remote and maybe when I took off the plastic using that method, it uh, was actually digging down too far into the plastic. But uh, I'll show you how the results of this one goes. So here are the tools I'm gonna use. Just basically you go on which you should have anyways. It's useful for so many different things. Uh, taking off uh, stickers that you want to take off and stuff like that. And then a roll of uh, just painter's rags. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but what you want to do in this case is usually I'll just use um, some tissue or whatever with the uh, with other stuff with goo on. But in this case, is it won't the uh, paper towel won't be strong enough to do that. So I'll use the uh, roll of rags. And of course, it'll destroy the rag, as you'll see, but uh, I think it's worth it. So what I'm going to do is just soak, I've cut up the rag into four pieces because you're going to be throwing out these pieces uh, after you're done. And I'm just going to soak it in the Goo Gone and then rub the remote. So for this exciting part of the video, basically I've uh, soaked this rag in quite a bit of the, uh, of the Goo Gone and I'm going to just rub it. Exciting stuff. First you put some on. You want it to actually um, let it soak in a little bit first to, to activate it. Exciting, I know. And I'm just gonna let that sit on there for a little bit, uh, especially with this stuff. And as you see, when you start rubbing it, It's going to actually start taking off that, that sticky layer there. See, it's already not sticky. And I'm going to do the whole thing. So, and I'll show you the results because who wants to see that? So here I am about uh, five, ten minutes later. And I've given her a good clean. Uh, like I said, you need to use a rag because you need to use good elbow grease. And see, no sticky. Sticky all gone. Uh... So I'm just gonna let this dry and then give it another clean so it doesn't have like all that stuff on it. But I don't know, I found it's effective. Too bad it's broken. <laughs> but uh and I've used this uh also on a camera that had the same issue, but you know, like everything, practice on something cheap first. Anyways, hope that helps. Thanks. Oh, and here's the rag after. <laughs> I just used one rag. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna throw it out anyways. But so you can see all the old plastic that basically you have to use some elbow grease, grease to uh, get off. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that helped. Uh, you might need a second run with the Goo Gone, but in this case, it's perfectly fine. It's, it's perfect. Um, I would practice on something a little cheaper just to get some experience. And um, I find it's worth the time to do this. Anyways, good luck with your reselling. And I'll talk to you next time.